Okay, it looks all right. So it looks like it's coming up now. It's saying live. Listen, all I can do is just be ready, come for the assignment, and then everything else is God. You know what I'm saying? Um, it is a little weird because I know here it goes. All right. So we should be fine now because it usually acts as for that. It says that. Listen, that's all I can do. I'm not even going to lie. Even like this morning, it was like, yo, Uzi, I have 5 a.m. I'm up. I used to take my shower the night before. Sometimes I'll take it in the morning. You know, I'll do my little makeup, be ready. It was just like everything it took okay i see everybody coming up. it took everything to get up like i was like and i'm not one who usually do snooze you know i'm like pressing uh extra 20 minutes an extra 30 minutes i'm like yo what's going on and then somebody just said i look tired over here i'm like i don't look tired i probably just don't look like you know beat like i'd be looking but it was just like oh my gosh like i it was just a lot to get up so the only thing that i can say it was a lot for me to get up this morning then when i get up good morning it was a lot of technical difficulties now sometimes i would act up but facebook would be on one accord so being that everything is being attacked the only thing i could think of is we got a rim of word god just got something for us we is just about to change the trajectory of somebody's life you know because every time that we get more wisdom every time that we get more discernment every time that we release those uh, uh, oppression you know and release every demonic activity that's going on in our life that is territory you have to understand that that is territory so i am gaining a lot of territory and the, the enemy feels like that's too much territory for little old foul that's too much that's too much that's too much so you know he he's just really in his feelings but it's okay we said our prayer you know we prayed about it and, and, and listen we pray to slay right pray to slay ministries and that's why I don't get frustrated. I don't, what I do, I just pray and release it. And if God's going to have his way, he's going to have his way. So we know that prayer works. The Bible says the prayers are uh, avail much, okay, of the righteous man. So God did that. So being that we prayed, we set the tone. I just want to really just shame the devil. And I just want to just get, I just want to go straight into the word. Because he attacked this word so much. We just want to go straight into the word. Good morning. Good morning. Instagram, are you still with me? Are we good? Let me know. Let me know if we still good. And we just going to go straight into the word. You know what I'm saying? Because ain't nothing going to stop Fally Fam. Um, This morning, I want to really talk about, let me know Instagram. Let me know how we doing over there. I want to, good morning, good morning, Cindy. I want to talk about um, how people just won't get it. Hmm. How what's in you, okay, cool, thank you, Kels, we good. How what's in you, sometimes they won't get it. They won't get it. And because they won't get it, you can't let that stop. We good, I see you clear. All right, cool. You can't let that stop. Your flow. You can't let that stop from you be, from you becoming. It's like right now, right? Remember I told you uh, uh, in the beginning of the week, God put me back into that cocoon. Therefore, like, I'm not accessible as I was. And there's some people that's in their feelings, but it's all good, it's all good because I, I'm not really here to, be, to make friends. I'm here to teach the word, do it in love, and keep it moving. Because sometimes even as a leader or as a person that God uses, I'm going to say something that's not that you're not going to like anyway, because nine out of 10, when God corrects, listen, he corrects, he convicts those who he loves. So there's going to be times that fans going to say something that you're not even going to like anyway. So I put myself in a position where I'm accessible. When you need prayer, you need an ear, I'm there. But at the same time, there's some boundaries because I've got, I've got to bring forth whatever God wants me to bring forth. And sometimes you're going to have a Jeremiah moment when the false prophets is telling them one thing and telling them, you know, you're not going into bondage. And, and Jeremiah's like, no, you're going into captivity. You know, sometimes you're going to bring forth something that don't, that a person that, you know, they don't want to hear that. So I have learned in my walk as God is catapulting me to the new dimension that I have to make sure that I'm not accessible that I'm not that I'm not all you know look, too friendly friendly to where you can't even decipher the word too because listen when I got into ministry right 
And I remember this is even when I was going to this church and, um, you know, we was the women leaders and stuff meetings at the past the houses and stuff like that. And, um, you know, certain things that was said and everything, I, I noticed that, uh, I will look at her differently. Come on, Holy Ghost. I will look at her differently. And it's not that she was moving in sin or nothing, but you see the human size. You see the flesh. You see the flesh, I, you know, little stuff. I felt like, you know, we got cheese and bread. I'm like, can we start in prayer? Can we, you know, and they, you know, do they little daily? I don't want to say gossip, but it just, I just synced her differently because now you see the human side of her. Now you see, I didn't just see the singing and, and stuff like that, that I would usually see on Sundays. I saw her characteristics and though she wasn't moving in sin or nothing like that, it gave me an opportunity to kind of judge her. Come on, Holy Ghost. I'm, I'm trying to help you. I'm trying to help you. So you won't be in your feelings. Well, foul is not accessible. I'm not on the phone like I used to be in this, that, and third. Because God says there has to be boundaries. And see, when things that are coming out my mouth, especially under the anointing of God, okay, there got to be some type of boundaries. Mm-hmm. Good morning. Good morning. So now I went from seeing, oh, this is the pastor wife, and this is the pastor house and everything, and to where I don't know if I like that, and... Oh, everybody shouldn't be accessible. Mm -hmm. You got, listen, this is the free nugget. You know, technical difficulties try to stop us from coming through and we ain't going to ponder on that. But this is a free nugget from somebody. When God is calling you up higher, when he's calling you to a new dimension, everyone can't go with you. Everyone can't handle it. And you got to have some boundaries because there still has to be a sense of respect. So when God gives you a rim of word, they will be able to take that thing. Because the Bible says a prophet has no honor in his own town, amongst his own relatives amongst his own peoples and when you get too close now you can't receive the word like you used to receive the word because you're looking at it from like a front aspect mm -hmm. you looking at it as i don't know she was just talking about this dude she liking and all. and though we are all human <laughs> and though we are all walking the walk you it, it, you get confused so when you see me, don't think I'm acting different. You know, I'm just serious about my father's business. And when he calls me apart and he tells me to do so, I got to move. Because when he starts speaking to me and I start prophesying and I start getting all up in your business and stuff like that, I don't need you like second guessing what's coming out my mouth. So if I got to be a little lonely, then Pharaoh's going to be a little lonely because I came and I came to fulfill a mission. Because I tell you all the time, potential is to be fulfilled. It is not just to be dormant. When you have potential, it is to be fulfilled. It's to be fulfilled. God put something in me, it has to be fulfilled. Every day I'm praying, I'm saying, God, I need you to do this thing. I want to die empty. It has to be fulfilled. And sometimes you got to be removed. Because people don't know how to decipher the two. And I know it because I did it. I'm like, wait, hold on, Pastor. Did we we didn't even pray yet? I know you're giving me bread and the and the and the setup looks nice here, but I didn't come to socialize. I came to be about my father's business. Before we do anything, let's start praying and you understand? Now I'm trying to tell her how to do what she doing. And before they caught me up in the leadership, I was looking at her like the pastor's wife saying da 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 da. It has to be boundaries. It has to be boundaries. And you can't get in your feelings when somebody is on a mandate and they're about their father's business. What it should make you do is it should make you tap in more and say, you know what? I need to move and groove like that. Because that's where the power come from. That's where the power come from. If I start mingling too much, if I start doing too much, first of all, the reverence is not going to be there because you're going to get a little judgy. It's just going to happen because I did it. I did it to my pastor's wife. You're going to get a little judgy. I'm telling you, you're going to be like, well, she was just crazy over this dude. And she was just talking about this dude. Or she, you know, um... She, you know, she got little ways. Yes, because Fallon is very animated. It's very, it's a lot of layers to me, baby. It's a lot of layers. And, and, and many are fortunate if God allows you to see that because he's showing you how a real one walks. But when he said pull back time, I got to pull back because he know what's in your mind. He know what's in your heart. And I don't want to do anything that's going to stumble your growth because I'm here for you to grow. I'm not really here to have best friends and stuff like that. I'm here for you to grow. So I don't know because God put that on my spirit heavy this morning. I need you to understand. I'm not moving funny. I 
told y'all that last week. I'm not moving funny. But I have to be obedient. Because he knows how much. He knows what you're going to decipher. And if we get too coolly cool in the room. I'm not going to see the power like you're supposed to see. Because it's written. It's written. And I need you to see the power first. I been gave up. I been gave up the friend thing years ago. Years ago. Because you can't have many friends with you when you walk in the way I walk. And when you talk in the way I talk. It's inevitable. You can't. You can't. You can't. I'm telling you, you can't. You can't. Sometimes, like last night, I'm up all night, four, four in the morning, all that. He's dropping things in me, and then, the, and then the enemy tried to get me once I did fall asleep. It's hard for me to get up and stuff. So sometimes it, it won't make me moody, but you know, I'm just trying to decipher things the way my mind is anyway. So you got to be understanding, and you got to understand. See, this is where church folk come, church hurt come from. Come on, Holy Ghost. This is where church hurt come from. Cause you come into church and you looking at the man, you looking at the pastor, you looking at the congregation, and honey, you should be going to church for God. The people is a plus, but they're human, they're flesh. The Bible teaches us anyway that the enemy is parading as light in the church anyway. So you got some demons and some witches and some warlocks in church trying to derail people anyway. So if you go into church and you're not focused, you're going to be easily removed. That's where a lot of church hurt come from. Yeah, you got some people that judge and stuff in the church. I'm not going to take that from them, but a lot of people go to church for the people and you're supposed to be going to church for God to hear the word. Do you know how many times I used to sit in church and people be like, yo, sister Fowl, I was waving high. I was trying to say hi to you. And I'm like, oh girl, I'm so sorry. I was just so focused. I was so focused on when we was praising and worshiping. I was focused because I came to do something. I came to get something. I wasn't coming to see what sister, sister got on and who sister, sister came with. I came for the word. That's why I couldn't be removed. That's why I couldn't be removed. If something didn't go my way, I'm woman enough anyway that I'll, I'll go to the person and be like, listen, something happened or this and third, or I'll pray about it. But I couldn't be easily removed because my, my issue wasn't coming here to try to be down with people and have a flop. That's why when homegirl called me up and said, listen, God's been sitting me down for nine months and I've been looking for people in the leadership. People was in their feelings, but she was like, in Fallon, I'm calling you up. And they're like, where this little young girl come from? I used to come with my little cute hip hop clothes on and my kids be well dressed. Where's she coming from? I don't even see her one day Wednesday Bible study like that and you call her up because God knows I'm about his business I'm about his business I'm about his business I'm about his business this is why we had technical difficulties baby because God is doing something this morning he's trying to transform your mind and see you too occupied with the preacher you too occupied with the messenger be occupied with the message he had a donkey talk he had a donkey talk to strut a, a, a prophet straight. And if you're based in your relationship on a person, you're going to fail every time. Because I'm going to fail you because I'm flesh. Though I work through it and I fight through flesh, I am made of flesh. I am only man. Mm -hmm. I said what I said. And when we talk about men in the spirit realm, where it's no gender in the spirit. I'm talking about, I'm talking about spirit wise. Because you know church folk always got to be like, you know, men and women. No, the Bible said what it said. It's talking about the spirit. Don't come to pray to slay ministries because foul is popping and you trying to get friendly and coolly cool with foul. No, because you're going to miss it. Come to pray to slay ministries because there's anointing here. There's power here. Holy Ghost meets us every single day. And, and you are trying to come up hither. I'm trying to bring the best out of you. I'm not trying to kiki. Because what happens anyway, if you're not fully confident the way that you need to be, the enemy going to use you anyway. He going to use you anyway. Because his whole thing is to derail me. So get what you need to get. And whatever God will do, he will do it. Because did he not join, join Jonathan and David together? But then check this out. Holy Ghost told me last night. He said, but foul, I even did that for a season. Because Jonathan ended up dying. He said, I, 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 I created them to have a bond for a purpose for David. To catapult David. But still he died and David still had to walk alone. Come on, somebody. Because the narrow path is hard and everybody don't want to walk that. You can be influential. You can inspire. But do it with some boundaries. Do it with some boundaries. Do it with some boundaries. 
I'm telling you. Because now what happens? I had a situation where somebody reached out to somebody and it just was like created a whole mess and God said you did that. Because for one, you was talking too much. You was, he, I know you get lonely, foul. I know, but everybody is, is you, you, you different. And more is required of thee. That's what the Bible says. Too much is given, much is required. And you either working with me and you walking with me or you trying to do it the world way. God, I'm trying to do it your way because I care more about their soul. It might hurt you. You might be like, oh, she moving different, but I care more about your soul. And I'm trying to show you something because each one that is under me, God is putting you in your own position. Anyway, I keep telling you that. I'm just here to edify iron sharpens iron. Because there's going to be another assignment he's given me because he calls me up hither. And I'm trying to teach you how to walk in your anointing, how to walk in your leadership position. And you got to understand you can't be all coolly cool. You can't be doing too much. You can't be doing too much. Too much is given, much is required. And they don't get it. Come on, the title fit. They don't get it. Because they're looking at it in their carnal eyes. They're not really looking at it at a spiritual aspect. See, a spiritual aspect would be like, you know what? I, I, she's on assignment. And though we can't be friends like I thought we are and stuff like that, there's still, there's still a message there. Because that means if you're not coming on these lives and you pulling out, then that means you was trying to build a friendship and you was looking at me for me. It wasn't about the spirit. Come on, Holy Ghost. It wasn't about the calling. Was you on assignment to derail me? Because if you was really about pray to slay ministry, nothing's going to stop you from getting the word. Because if this is where you got your word from, this is where you were sowing your seeds from, then this is your church. But if you move because you and your feelings, then that means what's your agenda right? Ooh, it's a word. What's your agenda right? I shouldn't have to call you and be like, yo, did you tap in? Are you on this morning? This, that, and the third. No, that means your agenda wasn't right. And maybe God is removing you because he knows the heart of man. Said what I said. It's the truth. It's the truth. You can't say amen, say ouch. It's the truth. It's the truth. Because if you came for the spirit and you came for the, the, the calling and the anointing that's on my life, even if you can't be bestie friends and you can't do certain things with me, you will still want to hear the word. Nothing will be able to stop you from hearing the word. Because if the word transformed your life like you said it did, nothing will be able to stop you. There was a time that me and Talisha was on this phone and every day, every night. Even God had put in her heart to come out here and take me shopping. Talisha, am I lying? And there was a time that God pulled me back. She did not get in her feelings. She knew it. She understood. And she kept the moving, kept promoting, kept doing whatever she got to do. And still tapping in. I'm being real. I'm being real. I didn't have to hit her up. Are you tapping in? Are you offended? I had to do what I had to do. And, and, and she's trying to walk her walk. And she said, there's an anointing there. So no matter what, she taps in. Because God does things for seasons and for reasons. And I have this type of aura, I tell you all the time, is always to edify something. So if he has us knitted for a certain time period, it's only for you to get what you're supposed to get. Maybe he's trying to show you how a real walk looks behind the scenes. Because no matter what, I don't walk one way. I don't show a, a face to the public and then behind clothes, I'm a different way. That is not me. I keep it a buck. My walk is real. My walk is real. It's real. So if so if if God is removing me, then that means whatever you need it, He feels that you got it. So what you need to be doing is you need to be praying and saying, "Now, God, what was I supposed to get from that?" Not in your feelings, because that's where church hurt come from. And then all of a sudden, now all of a sudden, now you in your bag. I, she ain't really, yeah, she preaching it. It's all right. Mm. Now you can't hear spiritually. You can't hear spiritually because you in your feelings. And we learned yesterday that we cannot be moved by our feelings because your feelings will get you caught up every time. Every time it will get you caught up. I'm telling you, it will get you caught up. I knew I wasn't supposed to be doing certain things. Uh, uh, um, but my feelings was like, man, I, I love these girls, this and that and the third. But God's like, no, I built you different. And now I got to try to clean up what my feelings got me into. 
It's a word. It's a whole word, Prem. And you might not like this word, but it's needed. Because if you're going to do what I'm doing, if you're going to go from glory to glory, and you're going to let God use you, you got to check yourself. What did I say yesterday? I look outside myself. I check myself. I don't need nobody to be checking me all the time because I end up checking myself. And then when you check me, you confirm me what God already showed me. And I'm like, you right. You right. You right. Anybody that knows me, when they got a word, I don't be like, I don't know, I don't receive that. I'm like, yo, you right. Because the Holy Spirit already taught me that iron sharpens iron. So I listen to what's coming out your mouth because you might have a word for me. And in this season, you got to learn to walk alone and you got to learn to have boundaries. Because if your walk is real, you're going to do it no matter what. Listen, I was serving God in the dark. I was serving God with a brain tumor. I was serving God when they died on me. I was serving God when they talked about me. I serve him. I serve him. I serve him. Come on, Holy Ghost. I serve him. I serve him. I'm not in it for me. I'm not in it for what I can get out of you. I'm not in it to steal your anointing. I'm not in it to preach like you. I'm not in it for that. I'm in it because I want to see his glory. I'm in it for him. Tap into your own. Don't be having a secret agenda. Because let me tell you something. He showed me in the spirit. He said they on a secret assignment. They're on a secret assignment. And some are afraid to do the work to tap into their own thing. So now they're trying to tap into what you got. They sounding like you, using words, and doing this. He's like, no, there's a, there's a balance. You can be inspired. You can be inspired. But you should be doing your own thing. Use and tap into your own anointing. That's where the power is at. You're uniquely made. You're uniquely made. You're not going to be power. So now when them demons come and you call yourself trying to cast out a demon, they going to do you like the sons of Sceva and have you walking out naked and out of your mind because you ain't fully tapped in. But see, when a demon come over here and I call a spade a spade, it got to flee. It got to flee. Mm-hmm. That's why all those technical difficulties we had this morning, when I got tired and stopped playing, what I did, I prayed and that thing worked. It worked. Because it had to be information. It had to, it had to abide by the authority that's in me. I'm trying to teach you something. I'm trying to teach you something. They don't get it. They don't get it. They don't understand this walk. Let me show you something. Let me show you something. And see, it's the process that created me. Okay? It's the things that I went through that don't know men know about. Don't know men. I tell you bits and pieces, but you don't know the, all, the, the whole tea. Because you couldn't handle the whole tea. But it is the process. It's what I was doing privately that you see publicly. Come on, Holy Ghost. Come on, Holy Ghost. Come on, Holy Ghost. Let's go to 1 Samuel real quick. I'm going to go to chapter 17. I just want to show you something. I want to show you something. Because I'm not coming to try to make nobody feel bad. And I'm not trying to come to make you feel funny. But Holy Spirit said, some of you are in your bag. Some of you in your feelings. And honey, you're going to miss it. You're going to miss it. You're going to miss it. I didn't come to be friends. I came to do my assignment. And that's it. Nothing more, nothing less. That's it. And you're going to miss it. God's trying to do something. He's trying to do something. And you're going to miss it. I'm telling you, you're going to miss it. And a lot of you need to go back and watch that video we did yesterday. Don't miss your moment. God is trying to get certain things back in order so we can go back to the powerful messages that's catapulting you to greatness. I'm not going to keep sitting here now eyeing up stuff because you're pulling us backwards. But I do it because I'm in obedience. But stop taking us around this same mountain. We done did these things. This is, this is milk stuff here. When we, when we eat meat. Oh, ha. Ah. First Samuel 17. Let's go to verse 34. Let's go to verse 34. <clears throat> but I'm reading for the New King James Version. But David said to Saul, your servant used to keep his father's sheep. And when a lion or a bear came and took a lamb out of the flock, I went out after it and struck it and delivered the lamb from its mouth. And when it arose against me, I caught it by its beard and struck and killed it. Your servant has killed both a lion and a bear. So I tell you all the time, everybody always talking about how he killed the lion and how he did this. But he was a bad dude way before he came into a council with Goliath. In fact, Goliath was nothing. It was light work to him because he already killed the lion and a bear. 
Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So when God is telling me, Fallon, I need you to move. I need you to do this. It's easy for me to do that because Fallon already walked in the wilderness. <laughs> I already walked in the dry pastures and watched them create water and watched them make a new me. Y'all saw that post I put up yesterday. I, I, was, on a, I was on a little mini yacht with the, the man overflowing the bottle and doing this and doing that. I already went through those stages, baby. It took a lot to get here. It took a lot to get here. So he already was killing lions and bears with his bare hands. So what is Goliath? What is Goliath? Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. Supreme tapping in, that's how. Tapping and getting on every day. Reading your word. Being edified. Not going around the same mountain. Being moved by your feelings. That's how you go from milk to me. Being tapped in. Not being moved by your feelings. One day you tapped in and then the next day you, I don't know, you moving by your feelings. Now you drinking milk again. See, but when you eating meat, okay, I know these feelings feel this way, but feelings, you got to get in line with this. Because I got to keep going because my God takes me from glory to glory. And it was in this moment that David was about to be catapulted to the next uh, uh, part of his life. And he couldn't be worried about what his brothers and them say. Because in fact, his brothers and them was like, listen, what you coming here for? His father told him to bring food and all that. And, and see, when you, when you, when they don't know, and see, he was, come on, Holy Ghost. He was still in full submission to what God was telling him to do. Now, although he was going to the palace and he was anointed, he didn't fully walk into things yet. Remember, potential is to be fulfilled. But this is his moment now where he's about to fulfill potential. And he had to be in, a, in direct obedience. Couldn't think he was better than, he couldn't. So when God has me move a certain way and, I, and I'm accessible and then God says, move it, I got to move back. I got to do whatever God said because I can't miss my moment. I'm not missing my moment for nobody. And it's not selfish. It's using, it's called using discernment. Because Moses was able to see the promised land from the mountaintop, but he didn't walk in it. And I think it's so sad that Moses went through all of that stuff with these people, had to deal with all they murmuring. But then the next thing you know, he start turning, his heart started getting cold like them, and he couldn't walk into Canaan. I think that's crazy that he couldn't walk into Canaan. That Joshua ended up had to walk into Canaan. You're not going to make me miss Canaan. Because what happens is when the grace leaves and God tells you to close that door, now it's going to be a bunch of chaos. Now it's going to be a bunch of stupid stuff. And now we arguing and we moving in flesh. And now I'm missing my moment. I'm becoming, I'm drinking milk again. No. No. Because when God grace leaves and he tells you to leave, there's some issues there. I'm telling you. And next thing you know, the conversations go from edifying the kingdom to, you know, I don't, I, I don't really like what you did. You know, I don't like what you did either. Now there's no more talks about the, the kingdom and all that. No, we're not doing that. So you got to understand when God is calling you up and he's setting you apart, it's a reason. And you got to be in full subjection. Are you with him or are you not? <laughs> are you praying to slay or are you not? Y'all don't like this because y'all want me to be sitting here and playing. I don't, I don't do that. I'm not playing with you. I'm not telling you what you want to hear. Because you know what? In order for me to become how I became, when them peaches was all in my business, I talk about it in my book. One lady gave me a prophecy and told me I'm going to be doing exactly what I'm doing. But I remember I had fell into sin and had slept with two men. And she said, but you keep doing something. You doing the same MO. You got to get it together. I didn't want to hear that, but it was true. It was true. And I needed that to get me back into position. God's trying to shake you up. Get out your feelings. Get out your bag and be about your father's business. You want the anointing, right? Tap in. Stop trying to steal the anointing. You trying to steal the anointing. Do the work and tap in. Tap into who you are. Tap into who you are so you can be powerful. So when a demon and a witch and a warlock come, you can send that thing running. Because you ain't going to send nothing running playing fake, fake. <laughs> they looking at you and they like, oh. He a joke. She a joke. Them demons told him straight up, who we know? Jesus we know. Who is you? Okay, you want to play around, boom, and sent them running off naked. Look it up for yourself. You got to understand it is the process that makes you. Do you think that man wanted to be out there with sheep killing lions and bears with his bare hands? 
But it was the lions and the bears that made Goliath easy work. It was light work. Now when certain things come against me, it's light work. I done seen you heal me from a brain tumor. I done lost the love of my life and didn't lose my mind. <laughs> my seen my baby mad sick and you healed her. Mm -hmm. I seen witches trying to come and do seance over my head and couldn't even do nothing. You grant them fleeing. I done seen some things in my life. So I can't be moved. You and your bag don't move me. I'm just going to try to teach you so you can get to where I'm at. But it don't move me. Because I done been to I tell you all the time. I paid the price to sit here. It don't move me. It's moving you. And you missing out. And you missing out on powerful messages. Because you in your bag. And God said you got to understand. The process is what's making you. It's making you. I can't go with you. Because if I go with you. I'm holding your hand. I can't hold your hand. You got to do the work. To get in the Bible, you gotta fast, you gotta read, you gotta do these things on your own. I can just edify you a little bit, but you gotta walk the walk. Listen, he moved me from under my pastors, he moved me from under leadership, and God fed me himself. This wisdom comes from nothing but the heavens above, and it's biblical. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Thank you for the time, Millie. We might go a little later because God is straightening out some people. You got to get it together. Because when you get in your bag and you start shrinking back, all you showing is that you was phony. That you was phony. And that you was on a mission. That you was on a mission. And it's most likely it was to destroy me. It wasn't to edify yourself. Because no matter what, no matter what your position stand with me, you are still going to be tapped in. Period. It's a word. That part. You're going to be tapped in. And no, I'm not going to be calling you. I don't see you. Sometimes I do. I'll shout some names out because God will put it on my heart. But I, he, listen, I can see in the spirit. I know nine out of ten what a lot of you are dealing with. That's why sometimes I could call me like God told me to call everything all right with you. And people be shocked like, how you know I didn't post it? I, listen, this walk is real. And that's why you got to tap in. Because is you really trying to help the people? Or are you playing? Or are you playing? Because if you're really trying to help the people, you want to tap in. So you can have moments like that out of the blue. God will put somebody on your heart and you can call them and see if you can be a blessing or not. Or you playing. You fake faking. And I don't do that. I'm not, I'm not with the fake faking. I can't do it. Back in the day, you might could catch me being a little phony. You know what I'm saying? I used to be like, it's not being phony. It's being cordial. You know, because that's, that's just a nice hype word for being phony. Nah, but in this season, no. I, I'm pushing 40. I didn't pay my dues. I ain't playing with you. I'm on assignment. And I'm trying to teach you something. This type of wisdom here? How many women that's 37 years old that was married for 10 years and all that? It's some, it's some things in me. That's why I can produce two books and do it confidently. There's some things in me. I done seen some things. And, uh, uh, and playing with people, that ain't it. I'm out of that stage. Because I learned anyway, as I'm being lifted, everybody can't go with you. You'll be surprised how much jealousy and stuff is in the Christian walk. Jealous over anointing. You look stupid. Because we all should be trying to do the same thing. And that's to bring people out of the fire. What are you jealous of? What are you trying to destruct? Come on. No, that type of characteristics come from Satan himself. Are you willing to kill your lion and your bear secretly? He killed that lion and the bear secretly. And how do we know he did it secretly? Because when the Samuel came and the prophet came to anoint him, the father would have called him. The father would have said, you know what? I got these sons. Come on, Holy Ghost. They look good and they, and they look like they play the part. But I got a son, David, <laughs> that killed lions and bears, baby. And he's who you want. But he, they didn't call him because they didn't know what he was out there doing. They didn't know what he was out there doing. Do you understand what I'm saying? They didn't know, they didn't know what was in him. You don't know what's in me. You don't know the battles that I face. <laughs> Cause you got an objective of what you think. There's some lions and some bears that Thou has killed with her bare hands. Yeah, that part. Trying to come and torment me at night. Trying to do certain things to try to make me crazy so I can't be powerful. There's some things that I endured. You want to do that? You want to rumble with the bear? You want to do that? 
You got to play your part. You got to tap in. You got to tap in. For real, for real. Mm-hmm. And I feel in the spirit some of you are so convicted because I'm all in your business, but that's what it's intended to do. That's what it's intended to do. So you can get your act together and be about your father's business. Because every time you get in court in your feelings, we learned yesterday with the G, with the God do. He said, turn right back around. Y'all ain't ready. I'm going to let y'all die in this land for 40 years. And then I'm going to call the new new in them because they can get it. Because they can get it. It's a word. 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 Because this is, let me give you one more scripture before I let y'all go. <clears throat> this is John 2.24. Because this is why. This is why God set you apart. And this is why he does what he does. Where we at? Where we at? John 2, verse 24. Let's go to 23. Now, when he was in Jerusalem at the Passover, this is Jesus excuse me, during the feast, many believed in his name. And when they saw the signs, which he did, but Jesus did not commit himself to them because he knew all men and had no need that anyone should testify a man for he knew what was in man. Ooh, that's the whole word. God is saying, I knew I didn't need them to testify against me. I didn't need them to be like, Oh girl, you preaching. Oh girl, you anointed. Oh girl, you powerful. I don't need that. <laughs> God called me up. I don't need man validation because I know it's in men. God has taught me the hearts of men. And Jesus said, I didn't need that. I know it's in you. I don't need you to try to big me up. I know it's in you. And see, when you rolling like that and you serious about your father's business, whatever he tell you to leave, you're going to leave. Whatever he tell you, tell you to do, you're going to do. Because like the Holy Ghost showed me yesterday, he said, listen, yes, Jonathan was knitted to David. It was to get him and to help him as Jonathan's father was hating on David. But he was not with him for the whole journey. He died. Before David was really made king, Jonathan died. It was only for a season. You trying to hold on to things that's only uh, there to captivate you, catapult you for a season. And then you and your feelings about it. It's just a season. If we had an encounter on a personal level, it was for a season. God's trying to show you something. And nine out of ten, he's probably trying to show you how to live off the camera. Because anybody that really gets a real encounter with me, that's what you see. You see real. You see character. You see funny. You see emanated. You see, uh, you know, I got a lot of chicken head tendencies. You see it all. But most importantly, you see the anointing. You see the self-discipline. You see the will, the grit, the irony after God. Take that and say, thank you, God. I got to see that for a moment and keep it pushing. Don't get in your bag. She acting funny. She, no, don't get in your bag. Because now you're taking yourself around that mountain again. And I'm telling you, this is to help a lot of people with church hurt. Because you went to church with the wrong intentions. You went there for man. If you read your scriptures and you understand that there's demons in the church, then you would not be so focused on, on how funny people would act. You would just say to yourself, that's what I'm not going to do. I'm not going to play the hypocrite. I'm not going to be judgmental. I'm not going to be like that. It's not created. Listen, anything God exposes you to is for you to learn. It's not created for you to get in your bag and get stagnated. No, that's why you got to be praying for wisdom and understanding so you can get to the next level. You got to be praying for wisdom and understanding. Because wisdom and understanding will teach you not to get in your bag. You are going to have feelings, but you can't act on them. You feel that way? You, you keep going. You keep praying. You keep doing until you can get it into subjection. And then you move forward. I'm teaching you. I'm teaching you something. This will help a lot of you because too many of you are still being led by your emotions. We are Christians. We are kingdom builders. We don't move by emotions. We don't move by emotions. We don't move by feelings. We move by the Holy Spirit. We are led by the Spirit. And I pray to God you get it so I'm going to sit here again and doing this. Can we get back to the power so we can start tapping into our gifts? But you know what? God is good because it's needed. Because the only, the only way you're going to fully tap into your power and be fully subjected to the word is if you get these inner things out of you. Because I'm telling you, it's stagnating you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. See, I said, ouch. You can't say amen. Say, ouch. 
It's stagnating you. It's stagnating you. How do we know? It was the feelings. It was the emotions that stopped Moses from going. See, God was already, remember what we, what we read yesterday? He was already frustrated with the people. But it's when he told Moses, speak to the rock. Moses got frustrated and hit the rock. He said, I told you to speak to the rock. Now you ain't going. I know, I know the congregation, they are fool and they got, but more is required of you. You the leader. Now you ain't going either. And see them emotions? Had him miss his moment. Had him miss his moment. So Moses did all that. Didn't get to walk in the land of milk and honey. Ain't nobody stopping me from walking in my land of milk and honey. You hear me, baby? I told y'all when I sat here in the beginning with me and my daughter went through. And I didn't let her stop me. And now, <clears throat> I know my poor baby girl gets tired of me using her. But like she said even yesterday, and when we was having the studies with my son, I had a word for my son. And she looked my son in the eye. She said, you better listen. Because you know when mommy speaks, she speaks the truth. And when she told me, I missed it. And you seen what me and her went through. See, now she's able to glean from that. See, don't get in your bag and start feeling condemnation. Because that's what the enemy wants. No, get convicted, but keep it moving. Let, let it be a, a lesson, a life lesson. So now Kay's like, this is what I can't do. I ain't going against the grain on my mom's. God has blessed me and gave me a real one. Let me honor her and glean. Because she ain't going to be here forever anyway. And we back like we never left. It's a word. It's a word. I didn't come with no dramatics. I don't got no music playing to hype me up. I probably got a little feud because the enemy tried to stop us from getting on because I knew it was a word. I knew he was straightening out some people. Whenever there's warfare, whatever there's opposition, it's because there's territory that's being granted. We just moved back and took our territory back. Now let's get back into formation and pray to slay. Friday, y'all know we taking the offerings and all this other stuff we doing. But what I need you to do is I need you to tap into this word. Some of you guys need to repent. Mm -hmm. Repent. God, she's talking about me. You sent that word for me. God, please forgive me and let me get back into alignment so I can do what you called me to do. Mm hmm Yo, Asia, I, I, may God multiply your seed. People sowing already. I really want y'all to, you know... Be obedient and hold it for Friday, but I get it. Cause some words you gotta, you gotta sew on. I get it. I used to do it all the time, but I want you to understand what God is doing in your life. This ain't play play. I don't do play play. Do you understand what I'm saying to you? Foul don't do play play. And I don't do, let me stroke you up and down like you some cat trying to, no, 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 no. You remember when we used to drink and we was in the world? And we be like, give me that Hennessy on the rocks, no chase. That's what foul do. No chase, baby. Because, see, the chasing waters are down. I got to show you this is how the world is. The world going to spit us out because we different. You need a leader that's going to give it to you, raw and still love you. I'm not saying I'm not going to be there when you need prayer. I'm always going to be accessible for prayer and for things that's going to help you. But I can't be lottie dagging and stuff like that because it's diminishing things. And I need you to be able to receive whatever God tells me to receive. If it's time for healing, if it's time, I need you to be in that, have that format. If we praying and I'm casting out that sick that you in faith. But see, if you looking at it on a thing like this is who I roll with, this is my girl, this is my best friend. You going to miss that. And you, your faith is not going to be where it needs to be to get that healing. God know what he doing. He know what he doing. Good morning, auntie. Twin. He know what he doing. So I'm sorry if you feel that way. But I'm not sorry because I know I'm on assignment. And I know I came to stir you up. I didn't come to walk in hand. I came to stir you up. Just like everybody tapped in and stirred me up. They couldn't walk my hand. I had to walk through the wilderness alone. Just me and my children. So we're even certain family members and stuff. But Val, why you ain't telling me? You know I wouldn't let because God told me not to. God, I needed to see God. I needed to see God in that moment. I needed to be edified. I needed to get this, this anointing, this power that I hold. That's why sickness can't hold me. <laughs> I'm powerful. I know who I am in the spirit. But I had to do the work. I had to do the work. I had to do the work. So what I'll say to you is, repent, 
Get back in alignment and do the work. And do the work. Do the work. Because I tell you this all the time. There are people attached to you becoming. It was people. Listen, you guys were attached to me to get it together. It's people attached to you. And every time you miss it, and every time you play yourself, yes, hashtag do the work. And every time you play yourself, you holding them back for what you got inside you. And then you're going to have to call somebody up. See, Sam Saul kept playing himself, and then he kept going deep, deep, uh, deeper and deeper. Instead of just repenting, now he want to he wanna see um, psychics, and he want to do this. Instead of just repenting. And God said, I'm tired of you. Let me call up David. Because I've been gleaming him and grooming him anyway. That's all I got. That's all I got. I declare and I decree that you will hold on to this word. That nothing will take this word from you. That it will grow root in your heart, in your mind, in your soul. And that you will walk under, under anointing, under your own anointing. And be confident in what God called you to do. And that you will seek him and every need will be met in Jesus' mighty name. I love you all the health. I will see you tomorrow. We push through. We got through the difficulties. You see power. You see the anointing. You see it. You see it. Walk in it. This ain't that type of teaching. This ain't, listen, we blessed over here. Holy Spirit meets us every day. We are blessed and highly favored over here. But do your part. You got a part to play. You got a part to play. And being in your bag ain't one of them. Get out your bag. Hashtag get out your bag. It's time. Get out your bag because you holding yourself back. You holding yourself back. You holding yourself back. Mm -hmm. Ciara, God said you holding yourself back. He said you holding yourself back. And he going to keep taking you around and take you around till you get it. You holding yourself back. I love you all the health. I see you tomorrow. Pray to slap. What a powerful word. What a powerful word. Facebook, share this thing. Share this thing. I love you guys. I love you to hell.